Murka! You should have run. Let there be no more death today, Murga. This planet should not have to suffer for the sins of my people. Hollow words from a boy who grew up in a palace built on those sins. I know that the Earth Dragons, my people, had enslaved your own. I know of the accidental test fire of Bakanawa's mining laser, killing thousands of water dragons in the blink of an eye. All these events and more were excised from history by Earth Dragon hands. I apologize for my complicity through ignorance. You think that a mere apology can erase our suffering? No. And that is why I intend to bring this secret history to light. Tell the world what really happened, and venerate the Water Dragon's struggle against my people's tyranny. Everyone will know what the Earth Dragons have done. Please, let this world live. <laughs> <laughs> to be remembered as slaves who rebelled against their masters and lost? Or the monsters that killed the world? What choice do I really have as the one final breath of the water dragons? Wait, you don't have to- Murga, no! Stop this! We are the last to suffer under the yoke of the earth dragons. This ends here. I wanted to believe! I wanted to see you for what water dragons were meant to be! But our past, our history, they're nothing but chains, and we are choking on them! We might be the last of our kind, but that's not all that defines us. We are the people we help, the friends we make, the love we share, and the world we leave behind. That's who we are, who we can be, but only if we decide. No! The Earth Dragons must suffer! The Water Dragons will have justice! I will have my revenge! Parameters met. Initiating playback. Hello again, love. I pray that you'll hear these words somehow, because... I know that this isn't all we'd hoped for, and I'm so sorry. What a... Marie, I wish I could be there with you right now. We had some... But I hope that no matter what happens, you'll find your own happiness. No, there has to be more. There has to be something else. Play it again! Bring her back! Bring her back! Please, please, I just want to see her one more time. Please. Murga, all of this, is this what she would have wanted for you? Syntax! I thought we blasted her off the ship along with Serpentine. Code Black, version 2 initiated. Termination protocols initiated. Mode harvesting to commence as scheduled. Something's coming this way! How many times are we gonna have to save the moon before it stays saved? Keep up your spirits, Wildcat. Let us put a stop to this. Go. I won't resist. I have much to think about. Guys! I don't think this is working! creature is regenerating faster than we can damage it. We need to overload the system! Hit it as hard as you can! That worked! Murga? I started this. It's only right that I end it as well. Alright, girls! Let's finish this! By the collective efforts of our three kingdoms, the threat of Makanawa has come to an end. Yet as the moon we defended so passionately fades into the horizon, 
I cannot help but dwell on the unsettling truth that has been revealed to us. What is punishment enough for conspiracy to silence an entire world? Will an act of forgiveness lead to peaceful resolution? Or will it buckle under the weight of those unwilling to change? Perhaps there is no perfect answer. Nevertheless, I feel it is my duty to pursue an outcome that I believe would break the cycle of conflict that has consumed our world for generations. The atrocities of our past should never be forgotten. But neither should they be repeated. Where... Shang Tu? Under regular circumstances, our laws would pronounce your deeds to be acts of war, and in the former sergeant's case, treason. Such crimes would be punishable by life in prison, or even death. <coughs> However, these are not regular circumstances. In light of certain facts that have been brought to light, the severity of your punishments will be reduced. I hereby sentence the four of you to six months of community service. You will remain in Shang Tu for the duration of your sentence, to clean up the mess caused by your callous disregard for our property. And you'd better do a good job. Those fossils in the museum ain't gonna rebuild themselves, you know. As you wish. Captain Kalau will do as the Hammer of Justice wills. Well, on the bright side, I guess you get to see me more often, sis. As for your ringleader, we have found neither hide nor tail of Murka in Bakanao's wreckage. We would have offered her clemency in the same manner as you, but I strongly suspect she would not have cared for an Earth Dragon's ruling. And now I declare this ruling to be concluded. General Gong will hand out your assignments. Nira, may I have a private word with you and your friends? So she's still out there, alone. How fares Sash Lilac? She hasn't woken up yet. She's strong, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's up and about in a day or so. That is good to hear. And thank you, all of you. Once again, the day is saved thanks to your efforts. Pshaw! Saving the world? No worries! Well, actually, Scary Lady here was new to all this, but we showed her the ropes. Yes, however, would I have survived without your apt tutelage? See? She even picked up a sense of humor! There is... something else. Now that we are aware of the full facts behind my people's rule and abuse of power, it would be disgraceful to continue as if nothing has changed. Which is why I am stepping down as the leader of Shang Tu. What? No, Magister, you can't! I must. If change is to happen, then it has to come from within. We will take a page from our neighboring city and appoint a new leader through free elections. In the meantime, a regent must be appointed to oversee the proceedings are fair and just. I was hoping that you would fulfill that role, Nira. Me? Uh, what? I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Who's the most honorable person we know who'd protect and defend Cheng Tu at all costs? Yeah, and we have the freeze burns and jail time to prove it. Seriously, though, innocent until proven guilty next time. I... I would be honored, but surely there are others just as loyal. Perhaps. But none of them have battled a water dragon centurion on a spaceship that was about to eat the moon. That is both a rare sentence and achievement. In that case, it would be my honor to accept this duty. I will not fail our people, nor leave our lands undefended. 
Excellent. Then I pronounce you Regent Nira Lee of Shang Tu. Woo! Congratulations, Lady Nira! Yeah, major congrats, scary lady. I mean, Regent Scary Lady. Thank you. But what will you do now, Magister? There is still so much history lost or hidden away by the Earth Dragons. My intention is to roam the world of Avalis to try and document what remnants may remain. But for now, get some rest, and I shall prepare what duties lie ahead of you as Regent. Hey, sure you should be moving around so much? Where are you going? I heard that they never found Murga, so that's what I'm going to do. I think she deserves to know that someone's thinking of her and make sure she's okay. Same old lilac. Can't you be little Miss Hero Pants some other time? <laughs> Not a chance. Besides, this might be my only chance to find out more about the water dragons. And maybe even something about my parents. Cool. I gotta stay and make sure my sister does all right. Mila and Scary Lady have got their own things going on, too. You gonna be okay by yourself? Of course. Even a falling spaceship isn't enough to stop a dragon. <laughs> Fair enough. Catch you later, Lilac. Catch you later, Carol. <laughs>